guys welcome to same sex soul connections welcome to my channel i'm made for love i missed you guys oh my. <laughs> all right so we're gonna let the music run let me just give the cards a bit of a shuffle and then i'll turn it down for you guys The sun is about to shine. Well, 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 well. These cards. I love this set, but it's huge. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in such a long time and let me just say thank you so much for all your well wishes I mean there was some heavy energy last week and we'd have noticed that some of your um, readers would have been affected um, some more than others but it had me really out of it and I even got physically ill but I am feeling so much better today so I'm bringing you your reading your same-sex soul connections all right I think the last time we are following a particular um, couple or a group that's for sure because we've been getting a continued story here where this person apparently your love interest um, isn't out as yet and they're trying to know um, well that's what I feel anyway they're trying to really step into their authenticity but at the moment <clears throat> they're really caught in their head because they feel the soulmate connection for you but how do they come out and be their authentic self I feel there's a lot of social programming that's preventing them from stepping forward. At least that's the, that's the people, persons that we have been following um, thus far. Um, if it is that it's not that, um, if they're if they're already out, um, it's because they're in another situation that is um, not based on love. It's as simple as that. It's, it's just not based on love. So um, let's get into this. And as I told you, I added a karmic reading or third party reading so let's see what's happening in the third party because some of you guys have a third party going on so we're going to see what's happening in the third party and then we get in touch with and um, what's happening with you and your love interest okay all right let's, so let's do this and then after i look at um your your connection then we're going to get an advice card from you from angel and ancestors it's my newest deck that i got and it is it's simply gorgeous you'll see it's simply gorgeous all right so um your person what are they thinking about their partner their current partner the third party the karmic whatever you want to call it what do they think about the karmic and their um connection let me turn this down i've gotten a lot of complaints about my music but the thing about it is this music helps me this is the way that spirit gives me messages to tell you guys as well. And plus, it's my own brand and flavor. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? You guys have not complained at all. And I thank you for that. And neither did my DM downloads. It's um, the Zodiac sign ones. Anyway. <laughs> Let's see. What are they thinking? Ooh. Listen. They fucking know it's a toxic situation. Why are they still there? First card out, the devil, Capricorn energy. They are in this situation. They're tied to the situation by everything except love. So greed, lust, laziness, because some people just don't want to start afresh, isn't it? Laziness, vanity. Maybe there's some kind of image that they're trying to portray. Dishonesty. Or lie, not, not honest with self. So all the seven deadly sins, it's all wrapped up in there. That's why they're with this person. They know it's toxic. They argue all the time. There's a lot of pettiness, a lot of immaturity, a lot of emotional immaturity happening. 
I call this card an annihilation mode. That's when you don't give a fuck about your partner. So you say whatever you feel. You don't care if you hurt their feelings. So this is what is happening right now. So Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. It's it's absolutely toxic. And they know this. Mentally, they know this. Let's see what's happening here. But they're going deep within though. They are going deep within. Hermit card, Virgo energy. They are going deep within, guys. And let me tell you something. Anytime they go deep within, this is where they will find their true love. Because they will find love within self and then they will find love without outside of self. Okay? So anytime they're going deep within, thank God. Alright, so in their heart space, what are they feeling for this person? Not one ass. Sorry, oops. Nothing. They're not feeling anything. I have to remind myself I'm talking to more than Caribbean people, so I have to be careful with my words. <laughs> They're not feeling anything for this person. They have nothing to offer this person. Not even an apology. Nothing. Nada. Nothing solid. What's this energy there? Capricorn Taurus. Virgo. My love is a Virgo. Yes, I tell everybody that. God. Yep. When this person thinks about their situation in their heart, they want to speak the truth. And the truth is, they want out. <laughs> Not only do they want to speak the truth, but they want to be the truth. They want to be their authentic self. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here. They want to be their authentic self. Who wants to live a lie for the rest of their life? That's stupid. You have to come out of your bubble. Did you guys hear what that sound said? Come out of your bubble. <laughs> come out of your bubble. You won't regret it. You'll never regret living your authentic life. Ever. Ever. Yeah, they know they've been they're being treated unfairly. They know. There's no justice here. But I'm also getting that this is something that needs to happen. There's a sense of karma being played out here. And this karma has not been spent as yet. There's still a bit of karma here. That's why they're still together. So Libra. Alright, so what can we expect from this connection by the next time we meet, which is Thursday? Because you guys have given me enough views, so I'll do it twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday. Somebody's going to come to the decision. Gemini and Libra, Aquarius energy. They are going to stop being indecisive and they're going to come to a decision. They're going to make a decision for their life. Let's see what else they're going to do. What else are you going to do? More arguments. Are we surprised? No, we are not. Because that toxic connection. And they will be taking their love elsewhere. Outside the relationship. Out. Their love isn't being appreciated where it is. They're going to be riding out full speed ahead with their cup of love. To find somebody else to give it to. It's as simple as that. Um, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy there. All right, so that's what's happening in the third party. Chaos and mayhem. On to us. Bye. -bye. All right, so let's go in this deck, guys. I'm not even going to try to shuffle this deck today. Um, in terms of um, trying to make cards fall out, it never works. So I'm going to spread it out as usual. I mean, they're lovely cards, but they're huge. They are huge. So let me spread and fan them out nicely for us. So I can see all of them. Nice. Let me get a sip of water. Mm -hmm. Let me make a little space on the board. 
I'll take this up after. All right, guys. So when this person thinks about you, their headspace. Ooh. They are finally realizing. This is the Four of Cups in Rivers. So um, they're really reevaluating your connection. And whereas they may have been tempted to pass it over before because they weren't ready, they're really now looking at this cup of love and they don't want to pass it up. They're really seeing the value in this cup of love being offered to them by the universe. So they want to come out of that energy where they had that they had before that might have suggested that your love was unrequited. They're really taking stock of this now and really looking deeper into um, this connection. They're really having another look at it. Let's get another card. I'll take this one. What else? Ooh, we got two. The four of wands in reverse, but they're not ready to commit just yet. <laughs> they're not ready to commit just yet because this is the marriage card. They're not ready for commitment. They're not ready to make this commitment yet. And that's all right because they're still in this karmic situation, but they're really evaluating this connection with new eyes, with fresh eyes. Okay. Fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the six of pentacles. They're also in recognition that this relationship can be one where there is an equal give and take, where both parties really appreciate each other and what each other brings to the table. And it's something very grounded as well, because this is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Something where both parties help each other and nobody's taking advantage. All right. In their heart space, what are they feeling? Ooh, they're healing. They're healing whatever issues they might have had from, might even be childhood. Or it could be that when they think of you, they feel a kind of healing energy and comfort that radiates from you. I'm really getting that because that second row is when they think about you, how do they feel? What do they feel in their heart space? And they feel this aura of healing. So something about you, you could be a healer. Something about you makes them feel safe. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. Ooh, two of wands. When they think about you, and it's fire energy, the two of wands, they think that... They can see a life with you. There's a decision that they want to make. Um, this is a card of indecision, but not. It's really looking at your options very carefully and recognizing that, you know, there's definitely one that's much better than the other. So they're recognizing that in you. They're recognizing your uniqueness. They're seeing that you are the complete package. You are spiritual, you're intuitive, you're beautiful, you're unique, and you're not afraid to express themselves. And that's one of the greatest straws that they have to you because this person is living in fear. That's why they're still in a karmic relationship. They're not ready to be themselves, but you are out there being your glorious, fabulous self. You're an inspiration to this person. What else are they having in their heart space? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Two of Cups. They're recognizing that this union is unique and like nothing else. The Two of Cups, spiritual union. They're really seeing this connection, but this is not the first time that we've seen this come up in this reading. They're really feeling this connection. In fact, from the very first day that I got that I read for you guys, the two of cups and the ten of cups came up from the very first day. So they also recognize, yes, there are differences between you guys. Yes, there's a lot of emotions there. They real, they're really, really feeling this connection. They really are. 
and and they've never felt this sort of connect with someone else before this being able to love fearlessly and they've not felt it being able to see this person in all their imperfect perfection <laughs> and just re and just reach out with unconditional love they've not felt that okay what is blocking this connection temperance in reverse so somebody's not emotionally balanced and i'm really feeling um that it's them it's not you because you're here and you're all your glory in it it's not you it's them it's them they're, they're just really emotionally unbalanced at this point in time because there's there's an inner turmoil that's going on between heart and head all their emotions, their social programming versus their reality. So there's a lot of tug and pull. So this person might even be depressed at the moment. They might even be drinking to numb or any other thing. Yeah, let me see. Or even, you know, eating, consuming food that isn't good for them. Um, really engaging in self-destructive behaviors is what I'm getting here. They're not, they're not balanced. Their masculine and feminine energies are unbalanced. And masculine energies, you know, is that um, dominance, assertion, um, power, drive. And feminine energies, you know, receptive, intuitive, um, that kind of thing. This, that, it's, it's not in balance. Everything is off balance right now with this person. The sun. This person does not see the hope in this situation as yet. Um, it could also be that they're kind of immature because sun um, also refers to children. So there might be a naivete and an, and an immaturity with the, the approach to the world, which is why they're um, emotionally unbalanced. So that's also blocking this connection. This could also be you as well. I'm not going to throw everything on this person. This could also be you. Maybe you are not taking a balanced look at the situation either. And maybe you're being immature. Um, I mean... Especially if we're talking about um, soulmates or higher level soulmates, you guys will marry each other. So this could definitely pertain to the both of you, right? Um, temperance is Sagittarius energy and the sun is Leo. What else is blocking? Ooh, people refusing to transform. Uh, we got this the last time too. People refusing to transform. People refusing to turn into that butterfly. They just want to stay where they're at. No can do no can do change is inevitable you either roll with it you either do it the easy way <laughs> or that scorpionic energy will come and do it the hard way and you don't want that trust me you don't want that but this person is refusing to transform to really unveil themselves so what can we expect will happen um based on these current energies in this connection, what can be that will be their actions towards you um, by the next time we meet, which is Thursday? Ooh. Guys, it says the messenger, so maybe you'll get a message. But besides that, this is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a teacher. They're going to be learning some lessons. So this is Taurus energy here. Um... What am I getting here? They are going to be receiving some intuitive messages about themselves, about who they are. And this is really going to broaden their cachet of wisdom that they have. <laughs> Yeah, they're really going to educate themselves on issues surrounding um, who they really are. And then they're not just going to hear the message. They're going to internalize that message. And this is also the card of commitment. So maybe that's going to be on their mind as well. Because this is the Hierophant. This is also the card of um, things being done the conservative way. 
So maybe they're still going to be conservative in their actions. And even if they message you, it might be a conservative message. But just remember, in their heart, you can't get away from this. They're feeling this. They can't get away from it. So it might still do things a conservative way. And because they're going to be doing things a conservative way, they're going to cause a delay in this passionate new beginning that is possible between you guys. So fire energy here. And Leo Sagittarius Aries. And then five of swords facing a lot of mental conflict. They really want to bloom. But there is this idea of still keeping themselves hidden. For their survival. They believe that's how they should survive. That's how they, that's what they need to do to survive. To keep most of themselves hidden. And not bloom. Alright, so... Let me get some messages from their higher self to you. Where's my higher self card? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get you an oracle card. All right. Let's get some messages from their higher self. So without ego, without social programming, without anything like that, I keep seeing the, the lover's card. <laughs> what do they want to tell you let's get three messages okay there's a card that's turned over immediately i think we got that card the last time too honestly yeah we got three messages okay yeah okay this is nice all right my love the distance between us is killing me this emotional distance, this physical distance, it is killing me. I, I can't take it any longer. I'm breaking free. I'm breaking free from all the social programming. I'm breaking free from this karmic relationship. I recognize it's absolutely toxic. I am chained to this person not by love, but by greed and vanity. This is not what I wanted for my life. So I'm really looking at this situation from all different types of perspectives. I'm really trying to figure how to approach you because I'm in full recognition that this is a soulmate relationship. Yes, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted, I have to tell you. I, I, I'm very conflicted about this whole situation. I'm very conflicted. But on my mind, on my mind is commitment to you. On my mind is a five of wands. Because I know that this relationship is one that could be of equal give and take. An equal give and take. Where the sun shines. Where the sun will shine eternally on this relationship. I'm breaking free. All right. And then let's get a card. What do you need to do? Why this person tries to break free? <laughs> what do you need to do? This is from my angels and ancestors. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me get a card for you guys. I love this card. I love this deck. Let's take this one. It says, Lord, take charge with authority. Let me read this for you. What could this possibly mean? Five. What could this possibly mean? And this has some kind of Aries energy. This is the Emperor. Yeah, this is the Emperor. Right? And it says, don't be afraid to take charge or use your voice. Be strong. The Lord is a consort of the Lady, the Emperor and the traditional Tarot. He represents an authoritative male who isn't afraid to lay down the law. But this doesn't mean that he's angry or chauvinistic. 
He is self-possessed, reliable, and ambitious. A man of honor who has earned his place in society. The Lord in this oracle holds a ram staff and wears a crown of antlers, showing he keeps himself firmly rooted in the ground and is protective of his people. His regal air indicates he has a taste for the finer things in life, yet he is sensitive to those who are less fortunate than he is. Sometimes you have to take control in order to be honored. If you feel that your kindness or gifts are being taken for granted, it's time to change that. There is no excuse for bad behavior, and the ancestors are encouraging you to hold your ground and speak your mind in a, fierce, in a fiercely loving way. You have the energy and might to overcome dramas or energies that aren't working for your growth. And it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation that you don't want to be in. You are being encouraged to be the boss, to be the boss, instead of being bossed. This card also brings the energy of ambition and can show you and can show you have the potential to move upwards on a professional level, but only if you act with authority and show who you really are. So I'm really getting the sense here. Listen, this person here, yes, they're confused. But you don't have to let their confusion transfer to you. You take charge of your life, live your best life, do you. And don't let this person manipulate you with their uncertainty. Stand your ground. Don't participate in their third party situation at all. Because what you're doing when you engage in them with them in their third party situation, they don't have to change. They can resist this debt for as long as they want. Because they are having their cake and eating it too. So stand up for what you believe in. Speak your truth and don't allow this person to walk all over you. Don't let them take your kindness for weakness. Be the emperor. Know your value, know your worth. And this is going to allow this person here to know their value and know their worth and really live their, in their most authentic life. Don't engage in their confusion. You know exactly who you are. Okay, guys. So this was your reading. I hope you enjoy it. And until we meet again, I'll be there for you. <laughs> Take care, guys. I love you. Goodbye. Okay,